So now that we have looked at an ideal Bose gas, uh, confined Bose gas, we will take up the final example in this system. So what we want to look at is the ultra relativistic Bose gas, where my epsilon the energy is given by C times P which is H bar C K and <clears throat> I start with the partition function ln Q eta the general expression was minus eta sum over K ln 1 minus eta Z e to the power minus beta epsilon. Now here eta is plus 1, eta is equal to plus 1 for a bosons. So I have Q plus is going to be minus sum over K ln 1 minus Z e to the power minus beta epsilon. The sum over K as usual is converted to this density of state as V over twice by whole cube integral k square over dk in three dimension and since I have this expression I can write down dk as d epsilon over h bar c so that I have v over uh, there has to be a gv here and a 4 pi over here we will substitute the value of g a little later let's keep it 4 pi times gv divided by 2 pi whole cube and then I have integration of d epsilon over h bar c and I have h bar c square <coughs> in terms of uh, replacing k sorry uh, this has to be epsa square over h bar c whole square so that I have 4 pi g v divided by 2 pi h bar c whole cube integration d epsa epsa square which gives me 4 pi gv divided by hc whole cube integration d epsa epsa square so that the density of state we will straightforward write down as 4 pi gv hc whole cube epsa square now this means <coughs> that ln of q plus is going to be minus integral let's write down the factors okay so d epsilon g epsilon 1 minus z e to the power minus beta epsilon log of this which is going to be minus 4 pi gv over hc whole cube d epsa epsa square ln 1 minus z e to the power minus beta epsa we carried out these integrals the way to go ahead is to use integration by paths and we will do it over here also <coughs> this is epsa cube by 3 ln of 1 minus z e to the power minus beta epsa 0 to infinity this is 0 to infinity minus i am going to have <coughs> integration d epsa epsa cube by 3 derivative of this log is going to give me z e to the power minus beta epsa minus z e to the power minus beta epsa and then dd epsa of b minus beta epsa which is going to give me a minus beta factor so that this minus and this minus is going to make it a plus and this minus and this minus is going to make it a plus and i know that this first term is going to vanish I'm going to have 4 pi gv hc whole cube beta no yeah beta over 3 integral 0 to infinity d epsa epsa cube z inverse e to the power beta epsa minus 1 this is ln of q plus and I know that beta PV is going to be ln of Q plus 
which is going to be 4 pi gv hc whole cube beta over 3 0 to infinity d epsilon epsa cube z inverse e to the power beta epsa minus 1. The total energy is going to be <coughs> g epsa d epsa and epsilon divided by z inverse e to the power beta epsa minus 1. We have seen it several times because this follows this follows from the relation that total energy is sum over k epsa k and k. <coughs> this gives me 4 pi gv hc whole cube integration d epsa g epsa behaves as epsa square and I have an additional epsa factor here so this gives me epsa cube z inverse e to the power beta epsa minus 1. Now if you turn your attention to photons it's something is very very special. So what you see over here that for low excitations like photons the chemical potential mu is equal to 0 because it does not cost you energy to create particles at epsa equal to 0. Right? So once mu is equal to 0, this implies that z is equal to 1. So essentially, the thermodynamic pressure becomes 4 pi g. The volume factor cancels over here. The beta factor cancels over here. Hc whole cube, 1 third, 0 to infinity, d epsa, epsa cube e to the power beta epsa minus 1 and I can substitute for this 0 to infinity d of beta epsa divided by beta beta epsa whole cube 1 over beta cube e to the power beta epsa minus 1 so that the thermodynamic pressure I can write down 4 pi g over hc whole cube <coughs> kbt raised to the power 4 by 3 0 to infinity dx x cube over e to the power x minus 1. Now the value of this integral I know. The value of this integral is zeta 4 times gamma 3. Am I right? Sorry, this has to be gamma 4. Because I know from our earlier discussion that fm plus of z is 1 over m minus 1 factorial dx x to the power m minus 1 z inverse e to the power x minus 1 and <coughs> gamma of m is going to be m minus 1 factorial. So essentially I multiply this by gamma m divide sorry gamma 4 and divided by gamma 4 and I realize that this quantity that I see over here is equivalent to f4 plus of 1 which is zeta times 4. So that the thermodynamic pressure is 4 pi g hc whole cube kbt raised to the power 4 gamma 4 zeta 4. You should know that gamma 4 times zeta 4 is pi 4 over 15. <coughs> we will later on use this one. Now uh, the internal energy it follows is 4 pi gv hc whole cube once again, if you look at the structure of this internal energy, I am going to have 0 to infinity. So, I have always missed out this integral limits. So, please note that they always run from 0 to infinity. d of beta epsa, the standard trick is apply over here. 1 over beta cube e to the power beta h epsilon minus 1 and that is going to be 4 pi gv over hc whole cube 
kbt raised to the power 4 again it's going to give you gamma 4 zeta 4 so if you compare this expression over here and the last expression over here you see that u by v i have missed out a factor 3 over here <coughs> one third of u by v is the pressure which is the case for an ultra relativistic gas which we have done several times in this course additionally you must note that the pressure goes as t to the power 4 and u goes as t to the power 4 in this case now that I know the energy density, even I can write down u by v, the energy density goes as t to the power 4. Now, suppose <coughs> I have a container which has a tiny, tiny hole and this is filled with photons. So that these photons come out from this hole. So essentially what I am trying to look at is what is called a black body radiation. Right? For this I want to write down epsilon as h bar omega. So I started off with k, I went to g epsilon, so g of k the density of states and from this I want to go to g of omega. So g of epsilon was 4 pi g v divided by h c whole cube and then I had epsilon square. So that this sum over k I had it was equivalent to 4 pi g v over h c whole cube integration epsilon square d epsilon. Don't forget that. Now, epsa is h bar omega and therefore d epsa d omega is going to be h bar. So, this becomes h bar d omega and this becomes h bar square omega square. So, that this is 4 pi g v over h c whole cube times h bar cube. omega square d omega which is equivalent to 4 pi g v divided by I have h cube h cube c cube and 2 pi whole cube this is the part which follows from h bar <coughs> so that and then I have omega square d omega. This becomes 4 pi g v. The h cube h cube cancels out c cube 8 pi cube. This is 2 and I have pi square. So I have g v over 2 c cube pi square integration omega square d omega. So that the density of state in the frequency spectrum is equivalent to gv over 2c cube pi square omega square. Now for a photon the degeneracy factor is 2 so that I can write down this as v omega square over c cube pi square a very nice expression for this density of state. Right? Therefore, it follows <coughs> that the number of oscillators within a range of frequency between omega and omega plus d omega is going to be d of n omega which is going to be 
average of n omega g omega d omega and average of n omega i know is e to the power beta h bar omega minus 1 because z is 1 g omega is v omega square c cube pi square times d omega so one has <coughs> dn omega d omega as v omega square over c cube pi square 1 over beta h bar omega minus 1 this part the one in the bracket essentially follows from this average of n omega which i know average of n k is 1 over z inverse e to the power beta epsilon minus 1 and z is 1 for a photon gas epsilon is h bar omega so i have this expression right now i can bring the volume in the denominator so that i have 1 by v d n omega d omega is going to be omega square c cube pi square 1 over e to the power beta h omega minus 1 correct let's uh, see the look at the left hand side n by v is the number density small n so therefore the density of oscillators which are between so density of oscillators which are between omega and omega plus d omega which has frequencies between omega and omega plus d omega is d n omega d omega is given by this expression omega square c cube pi square 1 over e to the power beta h bar omega good <coughs> now i want to calculate the amount of energy that is contained within this frequency interval so now i want to know <coughs> the energy density contained within this frequency interval omega and omega plus d omega so one can also write down du of omega which is that amount of energy which is contained within that is going to be epsa omega average of n omega g omega and d omega epsa omega is h bar omega and n omega is 1 over e to the power beta h bar omega minus 1 and then you have g omega which is omega square c cube pi square d omega there is a v factor over here omega square v so that the energy density so 1 by v du of omega is going to be h bar c cube pi square omega cube divided by e to the power beta h bar omega minus 1 so clearly this means that the energy density small u of omega where small u is defined as capital u divided by v the density divided by d omega is going to be h bar c cube pi square omega cube e to the power beta h bar of omega minus 1 now <coughs> one has to go back to the original problem and look at this that i have a box which is filled with photons and i have a tiny tiny hole here from which the photons emerge so i want to know the flux and the flux if these photons move with a velocity c the flux is going to be n over one fourth n times c right where it is understood that this is going to be an omega times so now <coughs> this is the energy density so if you want to ask how, what is the amount of energy which is contained within a frequency interval omega and omega plus d omega the answer would be du d omega times d omega and similarly the number of oscillators 
you have within the frequency interval omega and omega plus d omega you have d and d omega times d omega now the original question that we wanted to ask was that we had this problem where we have a box and there is a small hole from which photons are coming out right so this is the radiation black body radiation which you are looking at so i want to know the energy flux correct so here this is the classical problem of effusion and the answer to that is the number density the number flux is going to be uh, average v divided by 4 times n this is for the classical result in our case we adopt this relation and identify that we are looking at the frequency interval omega and omega plus d omega and therefore we have number of oscillators which is d and d omega and each of these oscillators carry an energy h bar omega which we have already identified therefore <coughs> the energy flux du d omega so we will write down this as the energy flux that's coming out of this small tiny hole is going to be h bar omega sorry the average velocity is the velocity of light which is c by 4 and i have dn d omega this is per frequency interval right so this is per frequency interval once again if you want to know how much energy is coming out within this so let's say delta e is going to be c by 4 h bar by omega d n d omega times d omega this is the amount of energy which is coming out within a frequency interval of omega and omega plus d omega <coughs> which we write down as c by 4 h bar omega and then i have d n d omega which we had before which was this expression becomes omega square c cube and i have pi square 1 over e to the power beta h bar omega minus 1 and this gives me omega cube over okay so first we write down as h bar h bar one factor of c cancels with one factor of c to give you c square so you have 4 pi square c square and then you have omega cube this omega and this omega square here and then you have e to the power beta h bar omega minus 1 so if you were to measure the amount of energy contained which is coming out of this tiny pore within a frequency interval of omega and omega plus d omega then you will see that this is the two amount delta e times d omega so we will write down de instead of writing a delta we will write down de hence the total energy throughout the whole spectrum is going to be e which is going to be h bar 4 pi square c square 0 to infinity d omega omega cube e to the power beta h bar omega minus 1 <coughs> if you substitute beta h bar omega is equal to y or let's say x this would be a preferred choice then you see d omega is going to be dx over beta h bar so that you have h bar over 4 pi square c square integration 0 to infinity dx over beta h bar and you have x cube over e to the power x minus 1 1 over beta h bar whole cube which gives you h bar 4 pi square c square 1 over h bar raised to the power 4 you will have beta cube 0 to infinity dx 
x cube e to the power x minus 1. This is once again familiar to us. This is gamma 4 zeta 4. So that you have this expression, the total energy which is radiating out of this hole is going to be 1 over 4 pi square c square h bar cube kbt raised to the power 4 gamma 4 zeta 4 and this is sigma t to the power 4 where sigma is going to be <coughs> kb raised to the power 4 divided by 4 pi square c square h bar cube times gamma 4 zeta 4 which is going to be pi 4 over 60 and then you have kb raised to the power 4 pi square h bar c whole cube so that you have pi square kb raised to the power 4 divided by 60 h bar c whole no sorry uh, this is wrong here so this is going to be h bar cube c square h bar cube c square this law that you see over here is called the stefan boltzmann law and this con constant is called stefan's constant one can plug in the values of kb h bar and c to determine its value <coughs> as a concluding remark we come back to this expression oops we come back to this expression that we have over here and we look at so we have de which is going to be h bar over 4 pi square c square and then I have omega cube e to the power beta h bar omega minus 1 d omega. Now <coughs> if beta h bar omega is much much larger than 1 we have this as de which is going to be h bar over 4 pi square c square omega cube e to the power minus beta h bar omega d omega. In the opposite limit when beta h bar omega is much much less than 1 I can expand the exponential over here and that gives me de is going to be h bar over 4 pi square c square omega cube divided by beta h bar omega to the leading order the h bar h bar cancels out and of course you have a d omega over here which is going to be omega square over 4 pi square c square times kbt d omega de <coughs> and this is the expression that you get when beta h bar omega is going to be much much less than one <coughs> this is what is called a what is known as the Rayleigh Jeans law and this is called Wien's law in radiation so with this we conclude this section <coughs>